Joining me now is Royal Editor for the Daily Mirror, Russell Myers. Russell, it appears that the whispers and the chatter about the family rift and a possible reconciliation have ramped up recently. What has changed, if anything at all? Well, great to see you again, Cara. I mean, listen, uh, the feud or this sort of fighting between the brothers, Harry on one side, William on the other, has been going on since we can remember. I mean, you know, there's been an awful lot said about the relationship or the fractiousness of their relationship. And I think that uh, no more so when they were both in the same room, in the same church just a few days ago for their late uncle's funeral and didn't appear to even speak, let alone look at each other. And I think that really tells you about the, the issue between these two men, that uh, there is a, a lot of bad blood at the moment, a lot of ill feelings, a lot been written over the last couple of weeks about whether Harry is speaking to members of his family. Indeed, he stayed at Earl Spencer's uh, residence when he was back in the UK, uh, Princess Diana's brother, um, but but didn't have any contact with any other members of the royal family. And um, it, does Harry want to have a relationship with his family? I think that we've seen sort of the, the green shoots of a new relationship with his father. He's certainly very keen to try and repair the damage he's done, certainly because of the king's uh, ailments and his cancer treatment of late. But I think in terms of having a relationship with his brother William, that is a, a long, long way off. And, uh, and William doesn't see him as having any part of the family whatsoever. And in an interesting report this week, Royal commentator Tom Quinn has claimed that the Sussexes couldn't recover if they lost the Netflix contract. Now, that's quite a significant statement. What's your view? Well, it is. I mean, listen, Harry and Meghan have got a lot of irons in the fire, haven't they? They've had the Spotify deal that didn't really go to plan for, for Meghan. There was a lot made of that when they, they didn't uh, renew for a second series of her Archetypes podcast. But the Netflix series has had some success. I mean, uh, their, their uh, documentary charting the life uh, that they've had in the States, you know, saying some sort of, sort of things about the, the royal family that Harry had left out of his book, had become the, the, the biggest grossing, the most popular debut series in Netflix history. So I think there is still some star quality for, for the executives to get interested in for Harry and Meghan. So I don't think it would be the end of the road if this deal wasn't renewed next year. There are certainly some projects on in the pipeline. Meghan has said that they're working on things together. Harry's Invictus uh, series did pretty well. It was an interesting watch. It didn't really do the numbers that their own personal documentary did, but it was an interesting project nonetheless. And I think there is, there are polarised characters, aren't they? So, you know, they, they will uh, interest some people and they won't interest an awful lot of people. And I think that is part of the, uh, the attraction for, for the executives to, to, to give them a shot, perhaps. Now, Prince Harry turns 40 next week and I'm a fellow 1984 Virgo. Uh, we understand he's set to inherit millions. Uh, how does this all come about? Well, it's going to be a very happy birthday for Prince Harry. Yes, you said, as you said, turning 40 next Sunday. I mean, it's a you know a, a incredible inheritance that has been revealed. He he got about three million dollars when he turned 21. So did Prince William as part of the late Queen Mother's inheritance to her grandchildren. But when he turns 40, he will be in for another massive windfall over eight million dollars. Can you believe? And I think that Harry and Meghan. Have, uh, have been lambasted, yeah, quite rightly in certain quarters, bemoaning the fact that Harry had been cut off from his father financially, saying that they didn't really know how they were going to pay for their security or their lifestyle that they've become accustomed to in the States. Well, it seems as though Harry's coffers are well and truly filled, because like we've just said about the huge Netflix deal that they've had, bringing in tens and tens of millions of dollars. Well, Harry has a known personal fortune. He did inherit quite a substantial sum on uh, on his mother's passing, but also of his great-grandmother as well. And the fact is that Harry is a very, very wealthy man in his own right. So will he need the Netflix deals? Will he need the new Spotify deals to keep the money rolling in? I think that that is a question for them in terms of uh, how much money do they really need. But it seems as though Harry is going to have a very, very special 40th birthday nonetheless.